So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. The teams then, Brazil against Portugal. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. Rises for the national anthem of Portugal. Strains of the national anthem of Brazil. Brazil shape up in a 4-3-3. Yeah, and a system that relies on an industrious midfield to cover the ground. things running Jim, which player is best equipped for this game I'm gonna pick Jean Moutinho I call him the ferret because he can slip into places and cause trouble pulls himself at it Gomez Jean Moutinho and it's Andre Silva Gomez spreads it wide Cristiano Ronaldo Great header, made it look easy. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Looks like a good ball through. Firmino. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Great leap! And in it goes! A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. 
Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Brazil at the equaliser, and we're all square. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Long and high towards the flank. Guerrero. Beautifully done. Guerrero plays it in. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Jean Miranda goes looking. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Back to the keeper and go again. Forward it goes. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Looks to slip it through. Cedric Suarez goes for the cross. That's a case of crossing in hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Casemiro. Tries a through ball, goes for goal! He can pounce on that! Augusta. Named long and direct. Going through. Firmino takes aim with a cross. And we've reached half time. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. Reflections on the first half. It's been a really good watch, but I think the managers will be looking for that extra bit of organisation and focus now, just to try and get a little control on this game. It's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly, and a goal each. Second period then underway. Cedric Suarez. Renato Augusto. Firmino. Out to the flank. Aimed into Hera! And that has been clubbed away. Looks to slip it through. And the follow up. Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Renato Augusto did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. And it's Andre Silva. Jean Moutinho. Plays it into the channel. Flags up. He may have been caught offside, but, well, Peter, from experience, defenders, I can tell you, hate those runs in behind. Portugal have anticipated uh, an aerial bombardment. Just looks like mass defence. Yeah, it's a case of needs must at certain times, Peter, and, and they have to respond to what's being asked of them. Steered out wide. Oh, he's found him in... Firmino hits it! Another chance! Chooses to go back. Andre Silva. A real chance to break. Gomez. And it's Andre Silva. Brazil haven't made a substitution yet. So what now? Played out to the wing. 
and that's a throw in. Portugal look as though they're about to make a change. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Hey there. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Support won't enjoy that. It's a very watchable game, isn't it? Any goal from here could could well be the winner. <laughs> Checks up. Now, can they make something of it? Brazil showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Daniel Alves. Paulinho. The 90 minutes are up, 30 more to come. Yeah, this has been a hard-fought game, Peter. There's been a healthy dose of drive and ambition and sometimes that isn't rewarded with goals just like this one I've seen a lot worse though so to clarify extra time will no winner in 90 30 more to come Coutinho Passes it through. Coutinho. Danger averted for now. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Casemiro. And it's Paulinho. Towering header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to uh, to pick out. Hey there, Marcelo positions himself well and cuts it out, and that's it for the first half of extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. <laughs> Is there to be drama in these final 15 minutes? This has been enthralling. So, what do the last 15 minutes have left? He's got away. Tries to dink it up to meet it. And oh, he's got that completely wrong. There's some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and. As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Chance! Going for goal! And a second time! Ciao, Mario. Now Mario with the ball through. 
chipped through. That looks a good ball. It's a brilliant interception. There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. I can only applaud the sheer doggedness and tenacity on show in watching both teams refusing to lose. I mean, they both ran their socks off. 20 minutes of action have taken their toll, but have proved inconclusive, and now this is it. Boy, you can feel the tension. So, the first penalty. And he's found the net. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Calmly, he puts the ball down on the spot. And stepping up, the skipper. No, he hasn't scored. Oh, I feel for him, it looked like placement precision. Brazil can go two ahead. It's in, and the keeper could have done better. And the lead is two. Portugal can't afford to miss another one. A oh, super penalty, pick that one out. Oh, that was a great strike, he just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Brazil with the chance to go two up. Our oh, keeper's gone the right way, but can't keep it out. Portugal trailing by two now. Great penalty, keeper barely moved. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. It's there, keeper rooted to the spot. And he's put them two in front. Portugal must score to keep their hopes alive. It's there, and the fight goes on. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. This one to win it. And he cannot settle it. Oh, the pressure was immense for him to win it with that one, but his nerves have got the better of him and he's missed it. Portugal at the point of no return. Shootout winners, it is such a compelling way to win, compelling and cruel, but they were so composed under pressure, and that was the difference. Well, what a way to finish a long, hard match. Those players can be really proud of their efforts to have come out on top. That was far from easy. Well, thanks to Jim, we both wish you a very good evening.